Good morning, everybody. It's uh, just and bright up here in uh, wonderful Lewiston, Idaho this morning. And uh, there's a tremendous view out here, and we're just going to have a crazy day today. Probably going to go to some different stores, show you some different things. Um, we're just going to take you all over and have some fun. Try not to use a lot of gas or anything. But uh, anyway, today is 03-14-2013. Uh, so let's take a look. Alright, so um, we're at Mall... Well, no, we're not at Mall 21. We are above Mall 21 on a different road. Um, but uh, anyway, here's our skyline. It's actually quite beautiful. This truck's kind of in the way. I'll have to move the tripod here. I got the camera plugged into nothing at the moment. I'm going to have to recharge it today. But um, let's go out here maybe. Ooh, nice shot of the sky. How about that? Sky shot. Okay, so we're gonna tip our camera back, make sure it's straight. Okay. All right. So now we look over here, and we can zoom in too. We got a 30x um, zoom on this, so we'll we'll go around here and take some shots, and let's see what our zoom will do. Maybe we can get uh, pollution for Idaho Idaho force group or something like that you know I'm gonna go look at this I'm gonna zoom out let's take a look through there wonder if KLEW would like this video, I don't know, maybe they won't. We'll look down in the valley, why not? We got our 30x zoom. I really like this. We'll go out where we can... Oh, look at those hills, yeah. All right, and here's the road. All right, so with a thirty two gigabyte uh, camera card. The sky is the limit here. If we can get Dad's a ranger here. He drives to work in. Oh, here's the problem. So this is 17th and 23rd Avenue in Lewiston. I wonder how low geared this pickup is for going downhill.
It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Oh. Senior residential and assisted living. Advertisement on the back of that thing. You know, I never, I don't understand those little uh, codes or labels or things. You're supposed to scan them with your cell phone or whatever. somewhere here. Oh, he has, to, okay, he's got two places to plug stuff in. And it's got a USB charger on it for my little camera, too. That's good. Because I'm probably going to yeah, need so all the chargers. driving overdrive is on this thing. I mean, is there a button? Yeah, there is a button in the end of the shifter. I don't know if there's a light. Okay, so we're going to get in our left turn lane here, and then we got to immediately turn right into the black sheep. Then when I get done, I guess I'll plug the camera in here and let it charge inside the vehicle, and uh, I'll take my pocket camera in. Kodiak uh, sports camera. We'll use that in a sports store, so hopefully those are compatible. Watch for pedestrians. I don't know what old black sheep has to offer. Eh? Interesting store. Okay, we'll turn this camera off. All right, here we go. So, first of all, I um, went to Black Sheep, and I didn't really feel comfortable videoing in there. I figured that that would make someone mad or something. Um, I got Mindy some uh, BBs here for a BB gun. I got her some markers at the dollar store, like you saw, and I got her some targets for her BB gun. Um, we got some tape here, some flagging tape. They had flagging tape with silver reflective stuff on it, but it didn't really look like it would blend in. Um, then we got this uh, three-piece silver kit. These go in the survival kit. I um, also got some uh, disposable earplugs for like 33 cents. And then um, I was going to show you guys, I got the last, I think there was one more on the shelf. But I got the last um, thing to these. Okay, these are heavy game load. Um, only five 
49 each, and uh, they're made by Estate uh, Cartridge Incorporated, heavy game load, and they're um, seven and a half shot, and they're one and one quarter ounce shot per um, shell. And uh, why did I get these? Well, two reasons. Number one, they were available. They had more shot in them as far as weight than the other rounds. Um, get these out. They're slightly lighter color than the Federal rounds. Um, open one in the store to look at them. But, oh, and I was going to tell you, Black Sheep, they have a survival kit that's really awesome, but it's also really expensive. Um, so, anyways, these have a shorter um, back on them. Made in the USA, 12 gauge. Um, and, uh, yeah, 7.5, uh, 3 quarter three and one quarter um, I don't know if that's the length by one and a quarter um, let's look how these stack up to these other rounds here yeah they're the same length they're like two and a I think three quarters or something um, long when they're you know like this and uh, anyway so what I want to do is I want to melt down um, the rest of my lead that I've got um, out of that battery See if I can get lead out of that. I'm going to do that using a cast iron pan. Um, a small one. And then... Um, shut that back up. Then what we'll do is... We've got a bunch of rounds here and stuff. and We'll cut them open and try and make some long... Sharp... Pointed um, lead slugs that are solid. And uh, how I'm going to do that is with this piece of wood right here. Um, this piece of wood fits right inside of an empty uh, 12 gauge uh, shot and I could show you that if I had one laying here but it's, I think it's in my jacket or pocket or something. Anyways it fits in there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this and then I'm going to uh, drill uh, like a screw in the end in the center. This is like a hardwood, this is oak so it's going to be a little more of a pain but anyways I'll drill it in there, cut it short and then um, we'll take it and uh, turn it on the drill and put it into a, a grinder, metal grinder. And uh, what that'll do is uh, it'll take off and I'll be able to point it like a bullet. And then um, I'll uh, make it the length that I want and the size and everything for the shell. So the back of it fits tight in the shell, you know. And uh, <clears throat> then that should give me um, a die to use in my mold. And uh, I'd be able to make my mold... Um, with aluminum foil and uh, that way instead of just having long um, blunt ended um, slugs and it should use less lead to get the same effect I mean because if it's pointy it should get more penetration and um, I'm still not sure how I'm going to taper that down um, I think I'm going to make a couple different um, molds out of this stick um, and then I will uh, all test them out see which one I like the best maybe and then make a bunch out of that and then I'll put them I think I'm going to leave one of these as just shot for like hunting and then another one of these for self defense um, make them solid uh, slugs so I think that's going to be a cool project and it's going to be a lot of fun so